Okay, welcome to day six. As I got up there today, right as I got to the green gate, it started pouring. And I thought, oh my, I lost my chance because it's supposed to rain like crazy for the next uh, 36 hours. But a little while later, it cleared up, so I was able to get it out for, uh, had about a 10 minute window. So I flew it out there, and you can see he is working on those huge concrete pipes that they were dragging in yesterday. He's got four, I think it's four on the right there, where he is right now, and two further up on the hill, like right over the machine right now, there are two there. And basically what they wanted to do is the forest at the top is ours as well, and they wanted us to be able to get there with vehicles like a quad or even a car truck or, you know four-wheel drive or something so we could get wood if we ever had to and so to do that they brought in all of these concrete pipes they are 148 centimeters in diameter which uh, man I can't do the calculation it must be about three feet uh, in diameter and all that rain that it'll that it should be raining these days will be caught into this into those trenches and brought down through the culverts or through those see there's four pieces there and then he will clean up where he's standing right now as I left he was starting to clean that up later on and it'll all go to the trench on the right which is the main that's gonna be the main one eventually essentially and it will go down to to here and it'll go right under it basically goes right under the green gate that's the same trench just farther down the hill and i wanted to show you something here so i came down to the to the green gate this is the entrance those of you who've been to the farmhouse know exactly where that is and i wanted to show you even though the mudslide isn't here it's a little off to the left very little off just barely can't see it but this whole mountain has shifted and if you look here, the green gate, okay, it is it is hinged on the left. And see the a little bit over two feet of space between there where we have the stick. The space there on the right, right there. That's how much the whole left part has shifted. The whole mountain shifted. And, because that used to connect. It used to, it used to touch. <laughs> it was a little clamp that would close it. So that's how much that whole mountain has moved right there. There's the landslide. That whole thing has shifted downhill, including that one side of the green gate. And then I went up later. This is the second time I went up there in that window of time. And he's putting some, putting some of the rocks there just to help, help retain you know retention for the for the dirt and so forth so he's placing them there on the side and then I went later with I walked up there to talk to him and I got a video you know just standing there watching him and um, that'll come up right away so you can see up there all of the water that comes up the huge valley that's above us will come in to here at all concentrates right there and he has three different trenches that it'll go into and then eventually go down there so you can see it from the other angle he's already put those two rocks down on the left and now he's he's packing that down because he'll pick up one of the other big rocks or two of them I guess and put them there just to help solidify the whole thing okay that's where he just saw me there we had a, we had a good chat okay take care